So today is the, my last day with this big bulky cast. This afternoon we are heading back to Pangare Hospital and getting a better sleeker cast. In the meantime, we are spending time at the Waitangi Treaty Ground, which is probably the most significant historical place in the country. Despite being only a mere minute from the township of Bahia, we actually are in a different town. It's called Waitangi and we are checking out the Waitangi Treaty Grounds today. The Treaty of Waitangi is the major part of New Zealand's history and today we're going to learn all about it in this super interactive museum. Plus, we're going to get to see an awesome Maori show. So that's the horn for the Maori and if you look over there, there's a horn from the British. The entrance to the Waitangi Treaty Museum tells the story of New Zealand's discovery from both sides, from the Maori story and the European story. So that's why we see so many different contrasting ways that this museum is laid out. For instance, we see Maori artifacts and we also see European artifacts. Before we go a little bit more into detail about the Waitangi Museum, we'll just tell you a little bit more about the Treaty of Waitangi itself for those of you who don't know. The Maori chiefs and the British generals basically got together to sign a treaty to create the nation of New Zealand and that's what the Waitangi Treaty is. This happened on the 6th of February 1840 and it's now celebrated as a national day in New Zealand called Waitangi Day which happens the 6th of February every year. In fact, we actually went to an event for Waitangi Day, which we'll link up in the cards above, and that will show you how New Zealanders celebrate Waitangi Day. So these are all the different translations of the Treaty of Waitangi. There is really heaps of different exhibition around us and a lot of them are interactive, which is really cool. There is this massive table in the middle where you can click around and go through the whole story of Waitangi and this is in the middle of the document room where there is basically the signature of so many Maori chiefs to the Treaty of Waitangi. Moving on from the main part of the museum, we are heading toward the big marae where there is a big ceremony about to happen, but we get quickly distracted on our way by a massive piece of wood currently being carved. In the carving studio, there is a Maori carver which is actually making a bird feeder in the traditional way. It's quite amazing to watch, but we need to be on time for the ceremony. <laughs> Before you enter a marae in New Zealand as a visitor, you need to go through a pofiri, which is a traditional welcome ceremony in Maori. But this is usually happening in the grounds on the outside of the carved meeting house, but because it's raining so much, the team kindly invites us inside to perform the pofiri indoors. Our elected tribe chief is met with a Maori warrior who presents a token to test whether we're friend or foe. Welcome to the Waitangi Treaty Grounds, the birthplace of our great nation. The chief of the Maori tribe welcomes us in Te Rio Maori, which is the Maori language and in English, and then the show can begin. Now at the stage, we are going to attempt something that we have been told is impossible to do. <laughs> we are going to attempt transport each and every one of you back into time. The Maori tribe tell their stories through song and dance, otherwise known as kapa haka, and this is a real mix of both high energy chants and also some slower paced love songs. The show is super captivating to watch, with the performers dancing with sudden jerking movements, some of them are pulling different faces and they're dancing with traditional tools and weapons. <laughs> On top of the exquisite performance that we are witnessing right now, the whole fare, which is a Maori carved house, is looking absolutely amazing. They are carvings top to bottoms, and if you are not watching the performance, you are watching all those stunning carvings. We've been told that all those carvings have been all done by hands. There is no industrialization in Maori carvings. Every single one of the pieces of wood which are ornaments in this fare are actually made by hand. 
But getting back to the performance, the Chief also takes the time to show us some of their weapons. They are absolutely superb, they're all hand carved as well and they is demonstrating us how they actually use them in battle, it's quite impressive. One of the really awesome things about this performance is that we are encouraged to take photos and videos and on top of it, once in a while, our host is actually stopping the performance to let us ask questions about what is happening on stage. I found that super interactive and really cool. And obviously the performance finished with one of the most powerful Maori haka that we have had the chance to witness so far. Once the performance finished and we take the time to actually congratulate all our hosts, we get the time to take a few pictures with some of the Maori warriors and get back out. But the rain is still here. Today is really not a day to be spent outdoors. But luckily there is a lot to see at the Waiting in Treaty Grounds. There is just so much to see at the Waitangi Treaty Grounds and another thing we're checking out is the Treaty House. This is where a British government representative lived between 1833 and 1840 and it's like a mini museum in itself, showcasing the everyday life in the Bay of Islands during the 1830s. To complete our visit to the Waitangi Treaty Grounds, we are visiting the Waka House which holds the largest Maori canoe in the whole world. So the rain is really picking up right now while we're driving toward Fangare. Where I can get my uh, arm x-rayed again, my cast recasted um, into something sleeker, thinner, lighter, probably a little bit more waterproof so I can actually get on and do some awesome activities for you guys. Like at the time when I broke my arm, honestly the whole hospital process is a breeze. I can't believe how good the services are in New Zealand. It's absolutely awesome. Alright guys, so we are on our way back from the hospital. Um, I have a good news and a bad news. Good news is that I get a much flashier and much more comfortable sling. The bad news is I do have to keep that cast for a wee while longer, seven more days exactly, because uh, my wrist is currently in the perfect position for healing and it's actually healing really fast and we do not want to take the risk despite the fact that I try to argue a lot with the nurse. So yep, that's right, in short, I am stuck with that dirty old cast for another week. So I'm gonna try to forget, and there's no better way to forget than some bangers and mash and a ton of alcohol. So we are heading to the PP Patch Bar, which is basically the bar of our hostels, and we are gonna get drunk. I really love how many social events they organize. Tonight is barbecue night, and the whole hostel is actually gathering together. Are you having fun? I'm having heaps of fun. Heaps even, not heaps. Not heaps. <laughs> heaps. 